Hello my friends and welcome back to episode 56 of The Wanderer. Today we are taking on AS Monaco in the Champions League group stages. Since the last episode when we took on FC Copenhagen in the playoffs we played uh, Hamilton and we had a very very big sort of European hangover I feel like we played very very poor. We equalised in the 90th minute to save a point. Uh, it was a deflected shot, you'll see it in the highlights, um, but overall it was a god awful performance from the boys, the big lads didn't show up and that's an issue. We then played Hibs as I click on the league instead of the match by accident, I do apologise for that. We won 3-0, Z Gomez scored a brace and Caviglia got his first goal for the team. It was a good performance, this one much, much better than the Hamilton game. And everyone turned up in general. It was almost a complete performance. Z Gomez was phenomenal uh, in his two goals. Today we take on Monaco, and let's just look. They obviously tend to build quite a strong team, but they are top of Ligue 1. Uh, equal with points with Marseille and PSG. Obviously only a few games in, but if you look at some of the players they've got, they've got Raheem Sterling on the bench. Uh, Telemann's still there, Georges or Horge still there, Fabinho still there, Musalera, is that Barcelona's Rafinha? It is indeed. Um, East goes in there. You know, this is, we're in for the game, Gabriel Jesus. Uh, I think I mean seen a press conference saying they still had Thomas Lamar, there he is. Right there as well. Who's he in? Who's interested in him? Chelsea. You know, this is, a, this is a strong team. This is by far the strongest team we've taken on in this series. Looking at the league table, we are third. We're a point behind Rangers, who have a game in hand. Two behind Aberdeen, who haven't dropped any points really yet. They've had two draws. We've had three. Um, we're equal on points with St. John's, but we've got a far better goal difference than them. And we are two points ahead of Celtic, who... I've lost a couple of games, only drawn against us, but they lost to Bardock Fissile and is it Johnston. So that's given us a bit of an edge there, but Jack Aitchinson off to a flyer for them with six goals already. Anyway guys, I'm going to skip to touchline and I will see you there. So we come into this game ourselves, nursing a couple of injuries, uh, Jamie Walker and Tavetanov is out gone with sort of a familiar line of Woodman, Tavernier, and for Tavetanov, Patev, Hendry, Markel, Grant Young, Jokic in there over Mark Noble just as a fitness thing, Caviglia, Cochrane, Rudden on the left wing and Gomez up top, Rudden on the left wing because it's him or Cammy Smith and I feel like um, Cammy Smith's been the guy who's maybe lost out because of Rudden's uh, performances recently mixed with his injury, he's not really had the chance to shine, uh, but you know, we've got Rudden in there, we've got Z Gomez in there, we've got some big game players, hopefully we can come up with something special against this very strong Monaco team, as Mark Al, that's a decent ball in, but nobody there is going to fall for Rudden. We've got a penalty here, Fabinho with a high boot gets us a penalty and it's Z Gomez who's going to step up, I've not reset my penalty takers for this year, I've done every other set piece you can imagine, didn't do my penalty takers but Z Gomez tucks home without any mistakes there, our little Portuguese man who's starting to get interest from clubs around Europe, it's the same sort of clubs that were interested when we signed him, the difference is we paid 175k with 125k's worth of add-ons compared to the 20, 30 million I'm going to command uh, to sell him as East Coast nicked it in the midfield there, Mbolo, very good player, and Lamar, he's put it wide. Let's just get some opposition instructions going on here, because that was not impressive, and I want to kind of work this out. Uh, actually, East Coast we're going to tackle hard, I don't know if it's automatically done that, it has actually, so that's fine by me. Uh, let's just go back to pitch. Uh, but if you look at their team, that's a very strong team they've got. And if you look at Lamar's position here, it's almost a front three uh, in the way that they're attacking us. Uh, certainly, Jokic, that's a poor header and it's fallen to Raheem Sterling. 
it's in behind for him Bowl, who's got pace to burn. He's behind uh, Jack Henry, I think it is there, who wasn't paying the full attention to his <clears throat> very, very quick opponent. And it's in the back of the net. Jokic was at fault and um, losing us possession. But I think Jack Henry made the critical error of not paying attention to his striker as the ball's coming towards him. We're going to start going in hard on Lamar as well, see if we can get a couple of their very, very good players off the pitch. Um, because that would be nice. Not Looking at their bench, I'm not much convinced that there's worse players there. There is worse players. It's not the same strength and depth as their first team, but it's not the same strength as depth as it's came in. And it's Patev at the back post of that free kick. Taverni is whipped in free kick. was absolutely perfect. We're going to watch this again because this is just a ball of delight. And it falls nice, and Patev finds himself unmarked. I think that's got to be Raheem Sterling that's meant to be marking him. It's not letting me click. It's Gabriel Jesus. Maybe not the man you want marking in the box, but our little Bulgarian man who cost us $1.6 to sign. Well, big Bulgarian, I should call him. He cost us $1.6 to sign. Has tucked it home, and we've had two shots on target. One of them has been a penalty, one's been from a free kick. And we find ourselves up in the lead at half time. This is absolutely sensational, boys. Um, I'm very happy with your performance. I'm not quite sure what to make of it because this is against the top team in the group. And that's a great ball over the top for Gabriel Jesus. Jack Henry's in there, clearing it away nicely. <sighs> I was about to say he pays his transfer fee with that interception there. It's better than what he did the last time, but there was no transfer fee as Jokic which this corner in. It comes out to Caviglia. He's tried to do a bit much here. Grant Young not so silly and just gets it to Cochrane. It's crossed to Jokic now. Young again. Just keeping the ball nicely here. As Jokic has it again. Back into Rudin. Back to Jokic. Played out wide. Not convinced that that was where that was meant to end up. But it's gone into Caviglia. It's hit the post from our very, very quick Italian who we signed from Juventus for 600,000. It's another corner. Jokic with it. Launches in. Towards Patev, it's cleared away, and Markal is going to be the man who picks this one up. But no continuation of the highlight. I'm going to bring on a Mark Noble for Jokic. I think that mistake has been redeemed a little bit, but he is tired, and I like to have some fresh legs in there. And Mark Noble's an experienced head to come on. But Mbolo's got free, and he's found a man at the back post. Again, defence not paying attention. Who was it for us? It was Markal not paying attention. And Monaco back on equal terms. That's not ideal. We're doing really, really good in this game. We are still doing extremely good. To be 2 all against Monaco was not what I was expecting. Tavernier has been done by Lamar. But Lamar's shot is interesting to say the least. Liverpool beating Leverkusen 2-0, or by two goals, I should say, eh, at present as well. Got Gary Finlayson on the bench. Tempted to bring him on for tiv for either one of our fullbacks, to be honest. Don't make making defensive subs. Crawford, very low morale. I'm not sure why he's got low morale. Uh, we're going to bring him on just now, actually, for Cochrane. See if we can get that morale back up. I must have criticised him after the game. And I've forgotten about it because, as I say, I play sporadically. I'll record to a record. I'll play to a record point And then I don't always get a chance to call. Jack Henry's going to be offside there, unfortunately for us. Caviglia's shot was going well wide, it was a poor strike from the Italian. Fell kind for Henry in an offside position. Here we a highlight though from the free kick. Tavernier wins it in the air. Crawford. Z Gomez doesn't quite get there, but he responds well. Crawford to Noble. Young. Going to find Ali Crawford again. Can he find Z Gomez? He's gone for the Caviglia. It's another penalty. Our second penalty of the game, Z Gomez steps up again, our top goal scorer last season. And I don't think he's our top goal scorer this season. I think that goes to Zach Run, but Z Gomez tucks it home again. So we had some injury issues at the start of this season. That was another very confident penalty from the Portuguese man who was an absolute bargain find. We're going to make some changes here. Um, we're going to bring on Finlayson for Caviglia. Move Tavernier further forward, and we're going to play him as a defensive winger on defend. Going to bring Ro Ugh, can't even do that. <laughs> right, undo, 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 undo. Right, how are we going to work this? 
Um, we can only make one sub, that's the issue. I guess we're going to stick running up top. So we'll stick you onto a complete forward on support. We'll stick you as an advanced forward on attack, which is where I like Rudd in. I'm going to bring you back here, and we're going to bring on John Suter, who can play in this kind of position, and we're going to play you as a halfback, maybe? We'll play Noble in the middle as a deep line playmaker. Halfback. Right, we're going to play you as a deep line playmaker on defend. We're going to play you as, what's this one? Right, we're not going with that. We're going with Regista on support. No, we prefer Noble in that role, I think. Um, stick you as an anchor. Um, I'm trying to work for this one out, boys. Um, Sigurdsson has a ball man in midfielder as well. We can have two of them. And I'm not asking them to make too many passes. And then from here, we're going to go to contain, waste time, play even safer. Let's stop playing out of defence. Pump the ball into the box. Stop looking for the overlap. Route one football. Stick to positions. You can go into defend now. I know you're going to hate that, but do you know what? It's going to be worth it if we get three points out of this game because that is huge. To take three points off the top seeds when you're fourth seed would be absolutely massive. Mark Al having an absolute horror show as well. Um, and we need to actually go narrow. Don't want to be too wide with this. It's all going to protect uh, Noble's sort of lack of physical attributes as well because he's got the two guys sort of protecting him. In fact, actually, what... Have they scored with that? I tried to click off. I literally tried to click off, click off, and it wouldn't let me. Uh, I want to watch this back. So they've got a corner again. It was whipped into Gabriel Jesus, and he just gets in front of Jack Henry. That's unfortunate for us. Uh, right, we're going to stick Alec Crawford back up here, and I'm going to play you as a Tecarista. So I quite like that in this kind of system. Um, I mean, we can't really change anything else because of... That's bringing John Suter on. We can maybe push Noble further forward as well, but that's really it. That's a searching long ball for Ruddin. It's not going to get there. I mean, still, a point out of this game would be great for us is Crawford clears that one well. Only a way. And Gabriel Jesus has found space and time about eight yards out, but he doesn't put it home. I'm just going to give a concentrate here, just try and see out this game. No, but looking at the stats, we score every shot we've had on target. We have two of our goals have been penalties, and one was from a free kick. So it's maybe it's not been the most convincing point in the world, but you need that bit of luck when you're playing a team of this kind of quality. As Markel plays it to Noble, Noble launches forward. Oh, it's just gone over Run's head and into the hands of Merritt. It's a little bit unlucky. It was a good idea from Noble, launched forward by Merritt towards Isco, into Rafinha. Noble steps in well, played forward for Z Gomez, he's got running in front of him, oh he needed to play that in behind and he's just under hit the pass, passing is not what I tend to ask him to do, it's maybe not so much of a support striker but a finisher, I'm going to say you're unlucky but that was a sensational performance across the board, Jack Henry and, we're going to start with Henry and Markel who both had horror shows though, and just say I expect a little bit better today. And then everyone else will get a well done. Because that is exactly the kind of thing we needed uh, to get our Champions League thing uh, run going. You know, I know it was two penalties. I know it was a free kick goal. I know all their goals, well, two of them were corners. But I know their, the other goal was open play. Makes a bit of a difference. But it's still good for us. So... 
We've got Liverpool and Rangers coming up in sort of a two-game spell. And I think I'm going to bring you back for that uh, in the next episode. And then we'll skip to the second Leverkusen game and do Leverkusen and then Celtic. Uh, I think that'd be a good episode. And then we'll skip to the last game of the, the group stage. It's again against Liverpool. And that'll fill off sort of the first half of the season, if you like. Because uh, we'll come back after the January transfer window for that. Of course we want third in this group. It's going to be very, very hard because I imagine Leverkusen are pretty good as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time.